First, we're going to go to a brief commercial break, and then we're going to be back after we get this phone live again. <laughs> Getting and staying in shape in your 30s, 40s, and 50s does not have to be difficult, and today I'm going to teach you exactly how I do it. Welcome to the Brett Summer Show, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you're having a good day, and I hope you're getting after it this week. Even though it's kind of a wild situation we got going on outside, but we're going to forget about all that right now, and we're going to focus on you, and we're going to focus on how you can get in shape, stay in shape, and enjoy the process by going through my 10 top secret tips to staying lean. Now, I'm approaching 34 years old. June 21st, I'll be hitting the big 3-4. And back when I was younger, I used to think when you hit your 30s and 40s and 50s, I used to think those people were finished. They're done. It's a wrap for them. But... I later found out if you live the right lifestyle and you have the right habits, you can actually feel pretty darn good and look pretty good as you're in your 30s and 40s and 50s. And I've seen a lot of our customers who some of them are in their 60s and 70s stay in great shape. So I'm going to teach you the breakdown. I'm going to go through them today and I'm not going to kill you for time. We're just going to get right after it. So the first page has three big tips. Number one, and again, these are things I do and it might seem weird, but they really do work. So trust me, I've been doing this for a long time. I always brush, floss, and use mouth wash. We forgot the H on wash, just to see if anyone was paying attention. But I always brush, floss, and use mouth wash after every meal or snack that I eat. Why would I do that? Well, what happens is when you brush your teeth, have you ever brushed your teeth? You typically don't want to go eat something right after that. You don't want to go drink coffee after you just brush your teeth, not that you don't brush your teeth in the morning and then drink coffee. But later on in the day, if you brush your teeth and your breath smells good and you're feeling good, you're typically going to just go do what you need to do. You don't want to ruin what you just did. So it's just one of those little things. I also chew gum, which also have, uh, helps the cause a little bit. So the second thing that I always do is I never take a day off, even if it's just walking or yoga or mobility or foam rolling. I always commit a certain amount of time to be able to move, even if the movement's not very strenuous. I just it's just one of those standards I've set for myself. So don't get in the habit of saying, I'm only gonna work out three days a week. I think exercise is like brushing your teeth and it's like drinking water or breathing air. It's something that you're gonna have to do every day. So whether you're in your, especially if you're in your 40s and 50s and 60s or even like me in your 30s, you wanna move a little bit each day to stave off some of the effects that come with aging. So you wanna keep your bones strong, you wanna keep moving, reduce the lower back pains and all the different things that come along with just sitting down and not doing anything. So stay active. The third thing on the list, when in doubt, pull the tuna out. Now, you don't have to just eat tuna and cashews like me if you're in a pinch and you need to eat something healthy. And the reason I had that down is because oftentimes you go a stretch of time where you don't have a lot of access to a lot of really good high quality food. Maybe you're on a road trip or something else. Well, there is typically always a couple of things that are always available to you and having some protein and some healthy fats has always been one of those meals or one of those things I can have when there's nothing but junk out there. I can always pop into a grocery store if I've got this crazy day going and I didn't pack food and I just so happen to not have access to anything, I can go grab some tuna and I can go grab some nuts. I can eat that and go about my way. If you added on to that something like a greens juice or something like that, that would just be one of those good things. Now, it doesn't have to be tuna, it doesn't have to be cashews, but basically what I'm telling you to do is if you're in a pinch, always grab something that is gonna be healthy. Otherwise, I would probably rather not eat anything at all rather than eating some junk food. Just a good habit to have. That being said, going on to the diet aspect, number four is veggies, protein, and good fats always go up when I wanna get lean, when I wanna stay in shape, when I don't wanna have excess fat on my body. I bump up the protein, I bump up the veggies, healthy fats like nuts and avocado. Um, if your stomach can handle, I can't handle like oil like uh, olive oil or macadamia nut oil or some of those types of things, MC MCT oil. But if you can, those would also be good options to have. 
and the only fruits that I have are, is that the right way to spell accept? It looks funny. Is it right? It's been, it's been a wild morning here at the Top Shop. Bear with us. I do still have fruit like pineapple, cherries, I mean I, basically any fruit you can think of, oranges, apples, I will still eat those and I'll still eat those in copious amounts. They don't necessarily affect you um, wildly. I think that's one of those things that get a bad rep. So I do keep fruit in there even when I'm trying to stay lean and um, get in the best shape or stay in the best shape, especially as I age. Number five, I focus my attention on water intake. So. You're getting older, again, you have those effects as you're in your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, even if you're 20s, it's important to track your water, but as you get a little bit older, to keep your skin refreshed and to keep your muscles strong and to be able to keep your brain functioning at a high level, I think it's very important to always keep a good monitor on how much water you're taking in during the day. So just, you know, jotting it down in a notebook or making sure you hit like four of one of those 32 ounce bottles or whatever it might be that you have and staying consistent with that. Number six, this is one that it doesn't have to be white shirts, but buying some clothes that are tighter or that are like your skinny jeans, like maybe you have some clothes that you know are in your closet right now that you wear when you're feeling really good and that when you, you wear when you're feeling real confident about yourself and your, and your body, you've been eating well for a couple of weeks, you throw those on. For me, especially in spring and summer, I like to buy really tight white shirts, okay? And why a white shirt? Because if you're a guy, and maybe you're not feeling like you're in the best shape, you might end up with a little man boobs. Even if, you're, if you got some muscle, you might get a little, it might get a little droopy, but when you're in really good shape and you're really, you're keeping things tight and everything's sitting up high, a white shirt will only be able to be pulled off if you're in great shape. So having some white shirts in the closet you, you wanna wear is just one of those little things. Again, having those things, like right now I got on some tight jeans. Now in October and November when I was eating cookies every night, maybe these jeans would have got put aside for some of those ones that have a little bit more slack in there for me. But during the quarantine, I've been trying to stay in shape so I could at least control that and it's paying off big time. Number seven on the list is AM cardio. Wake up, drink some water, and move. Whether you're in your 50s or 60s, you just go on an hour long walk or a 40 minute walk, whatever it is, 10, 20, 30, 40 minute cardio, every single morning, bike, rowing machine, walk, jumping jacks, kett you know, throw a kettlebell around for a little while, wake up and move is essentially the, the name of the game. Now as I get into my 50s and 60s, it's probably gonna be a little bit more yoga, it's probably gonna be a little bit more low impact, going on walks and stuff, but as I'm in my 30s and 40s, I'm still able to move around, get a good sweat going, and um, I think that's really important to wake up and do that, and then later in the day, no matter what age bracket you're in, doing some strength training later in the day. I think it's very important, and I think that you should always treat yourself and your body to a couple times a day where you're moving, because you're so busy doing all sorts of other things in life that if you can just treat yourself and take care of yourself a couple times a day, I think that self-love will always pay off in the long run. Now on the last page here, a couple things. Number eight, BB reps. What does BB stand for? That stands for bodybuilding reps. When you're 20, when you're 18, when you're 25, 28, you know, 30, even now I can probably get away with doing some heavier strength training but what happens is if you're doing a bodybuilding style workout, you're gonna maybe do a little bit lighter weight, you're gonna control the movements a little bit more, so instead of just hoisting weight up and using whole body, risking injury, you're gonna do a little bit more controlled, a little bit slower, you're going to be trying to activate your mind a little bit more so you can focus on what muscle group you're actually trying to target, and again, you're gonna lower and decrease your risk of injury. So again, as you're in your 30s, 40s, and 50s, you have to leave your ego at the door and you have to do weights that not only you know you can hit, but things that you can know you can hit for a little bit higher rep range, okay? Number nine is filling the calendar. And what I mean by that is not just filling the calendar with gym time. I'm talking about if you're in the gym for an hour, hour and 20 minutes a day, or you're exercising for an hour and 20, you got about 22 to 23 hours a day to work with. And what I wanna do when I wanna stay healthy and when I wanna stay fit and trim and lean is stay active. I, if I'm eating really well and I know that I might end up craving some cheat meals, some cookies, some french fries, wings, I mean it's been a long time since I've had any of that with all the, the whole deal we have going on right now, so I would eat it right now. 
But what happens when you're eating really good is instead of wait, it, it, idle time will make you think about that stuff. But if you're busy, you're shooting videos, you're text messaging people, you're, you're really cranking at work, you're doing extra work for your boss, sometimes you end up going, holy crap, I was so busy, I was so active, I was, I was so um, impactful in what I was doing, I forgot to eat. And I'm not saying you shouldn't eat, but what I'm saying is you should be so busy that you don't have time to sit there and go, oh, I wish I had a bag of chips. Oh, I wish I had a, a big pint of ice cream to eat right now. Those things are great every once in a while, but the more you fill up your calendar, the less time you spend thinking about what you're gonna pound and devour as a cheat meal. So stay busy, stay active. And number 10, you staying in shape may seem selfish, but in reality, you're doing it because it's gonna affect other people. So I always say this, like when I'm trying to stay active, and I'm trying to accomplish all these things and exercise and stay in shape, I'm thinking about the energy I have to show up to work, to lead. Maybe you're one of my clients and you're watching this. I wanna show up and have energy. I want to be able to walk the walk in my life. I want to be able to back up what I tell other people to do. I wanna be able to show up. I wanna be able to lead other people when they're going through a really hard time. I wanna be able to be there for them, for you, for the people that are watching this, for all my clients and customers or viewers or anybody who's out there. I want to be at my best. I know if I let my health slip, if I let my diet slip, if I let my sleep slip, and I stop having self-discipline in those areas, that's gonna end up affecting all of the other areas of my life. It might affect my relationship with, with my girlfriend or with my, my family or with my staff or team or clients because I'm not taking care of myself. So while it may seem selfish for you to put yourself on the schedule, it's actually probably the most selfless thing you can do because it's, it's a challenge, it's difficult, but really it's gonna allow you to show up at work better, your relationships better, and be able to put some more passion behind those things that you have, you know, you have a purpose for in life. So anybody who's getting there, again at Top Line, we do serve a lot of people in our Top Line Sweat, which is almost, we used to call it Top Line Boot Camp. It's our athletic conditioning sessions for people who are in their late 20s to early 60s. So if you're in your late 20s to early 60s and you really wanna get in shape, that's what we do here at Top Line because it's not just the workout, as you can see. The workout's good, right? And you know we have some things in there that, that stress what we would do in our exercise program or in our Top Line Sweat Sessions. But really, what it comes down to is having a supportive group around you who can talk to you about some of the things that you're doing outside, some of your thinking, some of the belief systems that you have, and some of the habits that you have that actually end up affecting you getting in shape, staying in shape, feeling healthy, feeling confident about yourself, whatever that weight may be, because you shouldn't let anyone else dictate how you look and you shouldn't judge or compare yourself to anyone else. Whatever that weight is or whatever that look is and whatever that feel is that makes you feel awesome and makes you feel self-confident, that's what we do here at Top Line and that's what we wanna help you guys do. Now, we know we're trapped inside right now, we know there was a little extension. We don't know when we're getting out. There's a little uncertainty with that. But on our end, we're getting prepared to be able to serve again. So we have our top line summer sweat coming out. We have some free resources that are gonna be available to you guys that are absolutely spectacular that as a staff, Britt really did the majority of the work. I offered a little insight, but it's gonna be a phenomenal resource that you guys will have available to you. We have some big, big giveaways we're gonna be doing and a whole bunch of cool stuff that we're gonna be doing here at Top Line. Yes, we're gonna be proactive about um, sanitization and making sure we have foggers going off to clean the place and making sure we have all sorts of different checklists of what it's gonna take for us to be able to get back to this new normal and to be able to make the adjustment to make sure our social responsibility is there to keep everyone safe. But we're gonna open back up and we're gonna be ready to rock and roll when that time does come and we wanna make sure that you guys are thinking about some of this kind of stuff or at least realizing that it is possible no matter what age you are, whether you're just you know kind of getting started off in, in your adulthood in your 20s or you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. We wanna help you guys out, especially if you're in the Milwaukee area. We love Milwaukee. We wanna see everybody in Milwaukee thrive. We know it's been difficult right now and we're gonna be there to pick you guys up when things return. So thank you guys for joining me on today's show and the podcast, whether you're listening or watching. We're here for you guys. If you need help, if you, if you found this helpful, send us a DM. We're gonna get you some free resources. We're gonna help you learn how to eat right. We're gonna help you learn how to snack right. 
and plan your days and drink water and all the other fun things that come along with getting and staying lean for the future. So hope you guys enjoyed the show and we'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> oh man, it's been one heck of a day. So I'm gonna jump right into it. I don't wanna bore anybody today. I'm gonna, Britt's phone here is swiped off. <laughs> Do you, can we turn the, we're gonna, we'll be back after, the, after this brief pause. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this has been quite the day. Quite the day.